What does it mean to fall in love with growth and investing in yourself? To me, this is one of the greatest joys of my life is when I am growing, I'm doing something to grow myself. When I'm investing in myself, it can be big things, it can be little things like just picking up a book and reading a book that I know is going to be good for me, is going to give me the right kind of information that I need to later go on and you know do something like record a video that will help many people, thousands of people. To me, that's an investment in myself. When I'm doing that, I'm not getting particularly like high levels of you know peak pleasure from reading a book, but that that sense that I'm investing into myself, this becomes very fulfilling. Especially after you've built up over years this kind of habit and you've really built up a whole reservoir, right? When you just read one book, it's not a it's not a huge investment in yourself. You don't really feel it. But what's amazing is that. The vision for me, like the vision of, of reading 500 books and the kind of neural network that that's going to develop in my mind of information, all the interconnections that I make between those 500 books that I'm going to ultimately read, to me, that is really fulfilling and really meaningful and, and worthwhile. And it might take a couple of decades to read 500 books and interconnect them all in that way. But if I do that, that is going to make me so fulfilled and that's going to provide so much value to my life and allow you, me to then provide that value and share it with others. And it's going to synergize with other aspects of, of, of my life. You know, those 500 books that I'm going to read, they're going to help me to organize my own mind in a more holistic, integrated way. And I'm going to also read about health and that's going to make me better at nutrition. It's going to make me better at fitness and exercise. It's going to make me better at the kind of work that I do. My work is going to be more healthy. My communications with people is going to be more healthy, right? So it all synergizes together. And this is what creates profound meaning in your life. And then after you execute on that for decades, that's when your life becomes amazing. How about, so we talked about investing in yourself growth. So anything you do in life that grows you, even a little bit, you should get excited by that. That should be what you're doing. Like every morning you're waking up, what's the thing that's getting you excited? Is it just to go to work, to punch the clock. No, it should be, how are you going to grow today in whatever you're doing, whether it's your, your business, your, 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 your craft, your skill, your art, uh, in your relationships, in your friendships, in your social skills. Like lately, I've been motivated a lot to be going out and socializing a lot. And, but I'm not just doing that just like for fun. Every night that I go out and I socialize, like I have intentions of how I want to grow, how I, I want to get better. And I have a vision in my mind of like where I'm going to be in a few years or in five years if I keep doing this, keep investing in my social skills, where that's going to put me, how fulfilling that's going to be for me. And I'm simultaneously seeing the fulfillment five years down the road that I'll be getting when I achieve all this stuff and build up a, you know, a massive amount of momentum um, and invest in myself a lot. But also I'm getting... I'm also getting fulfillment from executing that every single day now. Even though if I just go out tonight, I'm not going to get all the benefit that I'll get five years from now, but I'm going to like, I'm going to be excited just to do that because I can connect all those dots together. I see how just like one step leads to the next in my mind, but I have to create that in my mind. 